Hello dear friends, welcome back to Sparkle with Jyoti. Today I have a special uh, a topic here and a special guest with me and we are going to share about and talk about all the amazing, the most important topic and that is parenting. We all are parents and we know how difficult and challenging it can be time to time. Uh, you just want to pull your hair and you know like, uh, <laughs> so I, I, I know that uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about. So today we have a special guest and her name is Jayanti Bakshi and she is a very experienced parenting coach and has been past 15 years and uh, so today we are going to address and understand like how best we can have like a parent child bond, how, how you can help your children and yourself to have better relationship with your kids. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi Jyanti, welcome to my channel. Hi, thanks. Thanks a lot for inviting me to your channel. Of Jyanti. course, anytime. So, uh, just you know, uh, as a background, as a uh, history, you know, that I have been myself in Sweden uh, seven years and my daughter is six years old and uh, it's, it's so much uh, like challenging and also uh, like parenting is, has changed. The children and their mindset has changed over the years. They are more like the innocent kind. They have so much of at like at the finger they have so much information available, and it can be confusing for them as well as uh, you know you. So uh, how just introduce yourself? You know, how have you? How has been your journey? And you, I know you also have your kids. Uh, how it has helped in your journey? And how did you get started in the whole parenting, parenting coach industry? Yeah. So I'm basically a counselor. So I was doing all kind of counseling when I started out. Okay. Then I got married, I had children, and I realized that no one prepares you, no one trains you for what is coming. And every child is different. You know, what is happening in your neighbor's house is not happening in your house. Yeah. Your challenges are different from other people. So basically, I realized that parenting is basically a set of rules which a parent should know, the do's and don'ts of parenting. Mm -hmm. And actually nobody tells you, nobody guides you. There is, uh, the books are all very cultural specific. An American author will talk about American children, an Indian author will talk about culture. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't fit according to parents' individuality. So there is a whole lot of work that has to be done. So I left everything besides in counseling. We have like depression, we have so many issues. Mm -hmm. And I became a parenting coach okay. and I was bringing up my own kids at that time. So I could identify when a mother says my child doesn't listen, my child doesn't study because at home the same drama was happening. Yeah. So I started studying, I started doing courses, I read every book on planet which is got to do anything with parenting and basically your own journey as a mother teaches you the maximum and when you see the results in your own home, in your own surroundings and parents come back to me saying now the problem is solved, now the child is doing homework, now I am not getting angry at my child. So that's where we know that we are at the right path. So that's how the journey begins and it continues all the time. Once a counsellor, always a counsellor. Yes, of course, of course, that's so true. And I've been watching your videos and I've like, you know, even by listening to the videos, you can make out like so much of, uh, like you can find some tips and hacks and which you can use in your personal life and find some uh, yes. changes. Like recently I saw one of your videos and, uh, you know, I, because I, I was not a patient uh, person at all. I was like, I'm very impatient and very uh, like hot headed and I, you know, I want something like quick uh, things. But after having my daughter also, I realized, no, 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 this cannot work and this is uh, like, you know, I have to be like, uh, I have to change. Okay, I have to uh, do so, like change in so many uh, uh, factors, so that she, I could give her better a home, a better you know uh, lifestyle and everything. Because uh, I was very, uh, the same, ambitious kind Impulsive. of uh, person. So, what is uh, your advice? I'm very curious uh, because as the world is changing, the mothers are also working. They are stepping out of the home and also, uh, but they are supposed to do all the roles. They are supposed to go outside, bring in money, but they are also supposed to keep the home clean and the kids. You know that department is still a mother's primary role. So, what do you suggest for these kind of moms who are struggling between both and trying to balance both the worlds? Yeah. Okay. So that is the most important contemporary issue. Yeah, so as you are right, the most contemporary issue in parenting is that the mothers too are working and the children are not with 
her all the time. She is supervising her children from a distance obviously. She is involved parent, she is concerned parent, but she is an unavailable parent. So first of all, in these kind of cases, first we have to work on the mother on removing her from her guilt of being unable to be with the child. The second thing is making a mother and empowering a mother in such a way that her children feel that my mom's available for me. She's not there physically, but she's there. She's available for me. So that parent-child bond, where the, pa the child feels safe, secure, and feels the presence of the mom. That anytime I need my mom, she's there. Mm -hmm. She's not there with me, obviously. But if I need, I can get her on a phone call or on a WhatsApp. So the parenting can easily be done. Mm -hmm. There is no way that the child is going to be deprived or anything like that. All these children are going to do fine in, in life. Yeah. It's just that the, mo the mother has to know the methods and deal with her, with her own guilt mm -hmm. and uh, basically be a smart parent, you know? mm -hmm. be a smart parent, work on the relationship in such a way that even if you are not watching the child, still the child is doing what you have asked the child to do. Mm -hmm. That sort of loyalty you have to earn from the child. So it's just a process. When we guide the parents, it just smoothly happens. The parent is happy. The child. In fact, the children are more happy that the parents are not around all the time, mm -hmm. controlling them and nagging them. Actually, it's a relaxed parenting. The kids are relaxed. The mom's telling us, but she's not watching us all the time. Yeah. So it's a fine situation. There's yeah. nothing much to worry about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think that then. is the most common uh, worry in every parent yes. mind. You know, yes. ne kuch karna bade hone ke baad. they should do something, they should yeah. be like on top of whichever industry they choose, they should do well for themselves, Haan. they should be happy. Yeah. That is a primary concern but in the whole thing I think we take so much of stress and so much of tension yeah. and then it's constantly uh, you know and uh, that's, uh, that leads to be another uh, my next question. Like uh, I see uh, now I have uh, of course been living in Sweden but I also come to India and I compare all the parents and the kids and I see the parents supporting the uh, children for so many classes okay I don't know if it is my opinion but I, I feel it's still too much sometimes because the kids are going to the school whole day they also come back and they go for another class and then weekends also they have some karate class some music class some creative writing class and how uh, like you know how what is your take on this like is it good that the uh, kids are busy all the time and they are like you know busy in different, different classes even if they're not interested in the class or you know it is right like what is your take on that okay my focus is always that a child should be happy mm -hmm. there are some high energy hyper child who are okay with this i come back throw my bag go to a class there are some children who are introverts they like to be just be in their homes with their books so children should not be forced. First okay. thing a parent should watch is, is the child willing? Mm -hmm. Is the child excited? Is the child not acting cranky? Mm -hmm. Is the child happy uh, being like with other children all the time? So it is the mother's decision there. So the first focus should be is the child happy? Okay. Because we want happy children. Yeah. Secondly, all these hobby classes mm -hmm. are like ice cream tasting. When we go to an ice cream parlor, we taste all the flavors and then we say, yeah, I want to eat that. Mm -hmm. So it's good to introduce children to everything because children don't know what is their calling. Right. So put them in karate, mm -hmm. put them in painting. Tomorrow they will, you know, over the years they will say, oh yes, I am interested in this. So sometimes it helps right. that you have at least managed to introduce. There are some people who grow up and then they say, oh my God, had I seen this in the childhood, I would have taken to this game, but <laughs> there were no courts around my house. Yeah. My parents never introduced me to tennis. Mm. So let children not feel that way when they grow. Right. So if you are having classes around, if the child's energy levels are fine, if the child is not cranky and happy, mm. if the classes are accessible, you can't drive 15 yeah. kilometers for a tennis class. Right. If it is there, there is nothing wrong in mm. sending a child, but there should not be any pressure. Hobby classes are hobby classes. There should not be any competition of coming first or something like that. To do well, play well. It's just child is going out of the house, seeing some new activity, trying to learn it. If it learns it, fine. If it doesn't, we'll learn it, fine. Yeah. Parents should not feel I've invested in this dancing, 
so he should dance in the first row. I have invested in skating because all these hobby classes are investments. Yes, yes. You have to so pay for the camps. You have to pay for the equipment. So I see parents getting frustrated. They spend so much, and the child is not <laughs> interested. Yeah. So the parent should be mature. That the kid has nothing to do with investment. He doesn't know the money market. Yeah. So if it, if your budget allows and the child is happy without expecting anything in return. If you're going, if you're able to do that, mm -hmm. then there's nothing wrong. With it. Okay. Introduce your child. Yeah. The more exposure they get, the smarter. Yeah. Obviously, they will because of course. So, that totally makes sense because yeah. uh, uh, it happens, you know, in Sweden, like uh, you must be knowing, it's so expensive, and the classes itself are like around each class. It's an investment. It's an yeah, investment. Yeah. So thousand. So just be prepared to yeah. lose the investment. Yeah. Because children will suddenly lose interest. Yes. They play for ten days and then, uh, mommy, I don't want to. Know. <laughs> Story over. Yeah. You can't force them out. And if you force them, they'll go and sulk there. Mm. And it also depends on the coach. Mm. It also depends on the uh, the play group, the uh, the peer group. Right. So there's so many factors. It yeah. depends on the energy level. So the child is tired. Yeah. It will not like to go even if it's interested. So True. every child has a different uh, capacity of energy. So I just want to tell you, it, a parent has to take a call there. Mm -hmm. We can't as counsellors gently comment on right. this. If you are okay with it, if your child is okay with it, then go ahead. Okay. But as I said, child should be comfortable and happy. Yeah. That's the motto. Yeah. True. So Jenti, I would uh, like to ask, like, how did you get uh, you know, associated with Kosh and what role have you played and how, how much you have enjoyed working with Kosh? Okay, so I was going to schools and taking workshops. Mm -hmm. I was just wanting platform to address the parents that's all I was doing because when we do one-to-one -one counseling we're only talking to one parent mm -hmm. but if there are hundred parents it's better it's it's better for us right. the same thing hundred people are hearing so I was actually looking for a platform where I could reach out to uh, more people right. more parents and coach provided me that especially because the pandemic was on mm. and there were lots and lots of issues inside their homes with children right because it's very difficult to hold children inside four walls, yeah. especially in India where the spaces are less, yes. houses are small, no schools, no hobby classes, no playtime. So children were they were having a breakdown. Mm -hmm. That is when we started Kosh. Okay. So there was there was a jungle out there, you know, of issues where parents reached out to us. So it was a wonderful journey and you know this whole online process. Initially I was quite apprehensive whether to I can coach parents online. Mm -hmm. But online is a very good platform because there is confidentiality. Yeah. You know, parents are safe. They don't have to pick up their children and drag, drag them to a counselor. Secondly, it is, you know, I'm not looking at a parent. It's like a WhatsApp call sometimes. The parents open up more easily. Right. Thirdly, it is all over the world. You can call yeah. from any country. So online platform is a really big advantage for people like us. And Kosh has provided me. The, my other team members are doing all the homework to get the parents across to me and I'm just focusing on easily able to focus on the counseling. So it's a fantastic journey that I'm having with Kosh. Wow. Hope to grow more. Yes, of course, definitely. Uh, so uh, guys, I hope you uh, found something helpful and sh she is definitely available online and uh, we, she also conducts one-to-one -one consultation calls so if you're interested. I will mention all the details in the description box so you can check it out. Uh, and if you have any questions, please leave your questions under this uh, uh, video and we will try to answer as much as possible and also we will give all the Instagram and uh, other details in the description box. You can definitely check it out. I hope you love this video and uh, do you want to uh, give any like message to the listeners like the, the number one tip you know or the one change they can have in themselves and be a happy parent okay the one tip i would like to give all of you is that you talk less and listen more to the child okay. because if you have to understand someone you have to listen to that someone so i always say that i always see that parents are talking and children are doing monosyllables yes mommy no mommy it should be the other way around you be you have short questions how do you feel how was your day and let the children answer long you see the whole relationship with your child will change within a week if you start this process in your house of speaking less and listening more encouraging your child to talk more to you and you will understand your child better so start that from now itself
that's, a, that's such an amazing I mean short simple sound simple but it's really a great tip so thank you so much Jaiti for being on the uh, on the channel and I hope this helps you guys I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching and uh, take care of yourselves see you next time bye bye thank you